Hey everybody, Texas Trucker here, Lance's Performance Shop, LoneStarMopars.com. It's Saturday night, a little after 10 p.m. here, trying to get some stuff showcased so I can take it back to work. In this case, take to work, because I had it here at the house. So, uh, this was kind of an unexpected deal, and it's pretty sweet, and I'm going to start the video showcasing exactly what it is. I'll try to actually release this early. So... Right here, we're on Viha's website, and if you see there in the corner of the phone, which you probably can't, it's 10.14 p.m. But, with that said, screwdriver extravaganza, okay? And this is what we care about. This is about the best way I know how to do this. They're having, this is like their pro picks, sort of like their monthly, quarterly special, which have you. Uh, and they've got some pretty good deals here. Right here, their savings up to 43%. We've got a two-piece soft finish, extra heavy duty. That's going to be a bolster and a striking cap in v -Hall land. Uh, slotted in Phillips, kind of like your stereotypical demo driver set. 30 bucks, you can usually pay 46. Right here, you got a five-piece soft finish, extra heavy duty. Uh, this is a really good value in my opinion. Uh, you're typically gonna have a one and two, and then probably like a four or five. 658 type of a setup don't hold me to that but you can see you typically pay over 100 you're getting it for 65 right here this is also a pretty good buy you got the foam tray that's a 10 pieced soft finish extra heavy duty cushion grip set uh 159 that's sort of all encompassing <laughs> and uh, if we open that back up you can see 64 doubled you'd be looking at 130 so in theory uh, you're getting some larger, some smaller drivers, plus the foam tray. That's one way to look at that. Coming in over here for the insulated needs, you've got a two-piece uh, soft finish. I think that's just Phillips and slotted. Right here, you got a five-piece. That's a pretty solid deal. I think I have that at work, that exact set. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> Let's double-check. Now, I think there's a standard one. Is there not? Okay, so right there you've got the 10-piece insulated. That's a really good deal. Uh, so we'd have to see what drivers are. I don't, did not remember seeing that one. 79 bucks with foam. Right here we're getting into more of them. This is just standard soft finish for 13 bucks. If you're wanting to try a Vihaz finish, that's a no-brainer. $13, two drivers, $6.50 a piece. Good luck finding that price on the tool trucks. And then this one... If you think, okay, well, I'd want more than a number two Phillips and a slotted for me to try it out, double your price and get three extra drivers, pick your poison, and then right here, uh, let's say that maybe you buy this and you're like, good lord, I love these screwdrivers. I should have bought a set. I'm crazy. This right here is similar to the extra heavy duty set. Uh, you'll note the price is way lower. That's because they're just the standard soft finish. So really really good deals here especially if you're into vi drivers or you're wanting to try them and i uh, can't really go wrong with the screwdriver extravaganza so now that that is out of the way why on earth would we be talking about that well <laughs> since i don't clickbait you already know it's vi tool hall 12 if i'm not mistaken and we're going to get started with this little gym right here this is uh, nothing that you saw on that promo, but it is something that you might be interested in. Now, I'm kind of concerned about it. I've said this before. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. I kind of think these might be going away. Um, maybe I can, like, if Andrew's still there, maybe I can ask him or something. But uh, if he has part number 31137, this is the number two Phillips. You're like, good grief, dude. Do you not have enough of them? We do. We really do. Uh, this isn't even for testing. This is to take to work because it's just stupid handy. And you're like, you've got number twos at work. How, how could this be handy? Well, what does that say underneath the part number? Measure up with scale. And you're like, I think I remember you talking about these. Well, what's the deal? So the first thing I'm kind of miffed, this is the old style handle. Not that it's terrible, but you know, they've since made some changes and it's great if we, if you were totally oblivious to this. Sorry, my hands are dirty. I just realized that like we just did the uh, pry bar video. Better not go into more details there because you might see this first, but 2019, that's what that 19 means. This was manufactured in 2019 before the world went even more nuts. Uh, but yeah, if you're thinking like, okay, cool, this looks pretty good. You know, this is just a number two Phillips, got the marking, it's the old handle, yeah, great. 
Well, this is what makes it special. Right here. We'll start in metric land for you people. And you're thinking like, what is that, a ruler or a screwdriver, dude? Oh, it's a screwdriver. It's a number two Phillips. But, check it out. You've got uh, metric on one side, inches on the other. I cannot tell you how often I use this. Uh, this is a deal. I've got two of them here. Uh, one that's like strictly backup reserve. Heaven forbid something ever happened to my main one. Uh, what do I do with them? Multiple things. The depth of a hole. Okay, that's best checked, especially if it's critical, you know, with the back end of your <laughs> calipers, right? But if it's just like, okay, you know, let me see here. I've got this piece. These bolts don't match. What's the deal? I just stick this thing down in there. I'm like, okay, it's an inch deep hole. Cool. You know, we need a, you know, three quarter inch fastener or something. Or I'm like, okay, if it's an inch deep, it's tapped all the way. Let's get rid of this guy that's only a half of an inch and uh, replace him. He's the odd duck that was thrown in when someone lost the original fastener. The other thing, and this might vary depending on what you're into, but like for me, a lot of times, like on frame rails, I have to drill them out for fuel pumps, accessories, fuel filters, all kinds of things, right? And this is a quick way to gauge. Same thing like going through the firewall when you're wiring something. You're like, okay, where's the bend? And if I stick this in all the way, and I'm like, okay, it got to the two-inch mark, you know, when it disappeared, I know my lengths. It's really stupid, but there's places this goes that this does not go. <laughs> and it's also got the utility of being a driver and on top of that it is ridiculously comfortable and hard to lose this could be very you could make a tool with just the shaft doesn't have to have a phillips end on it or anything you could put a slimmer handle on it you know what have you like a rod bender type of a thing but with a screwdriver handle you're gonna find that you're gonna see it you're like oh i don't want to leave that in the customer's car right so yeah this is just a pickup i was finally ordering again from viha direct and i thought you know what we're pulling the trigger so now what is next you're probably thinking like man you showed us all those great deals did you, did you not pull the trigger on anything well we did and uh, i'm very 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 excited about it uh, for those of you in the screwdrivers you will know that i have told you there is one viha driver in particularly that i really really want to pick up and it has to do with this this is a broken uh this one right here is this was a 3.5 it looks like a 4.5 now well that's because the tip which is black is gone right i still have it somewhere can't remember where now uh, but it's gone because it broke off this was a sad deal uh, i basically misused these by not turning screws with them but by prying the 3.5 is perfect like it goes places the four the four five do not go uh, my logic is if you take like a non-striking cap driver, I don't care what metric unit or standard size you're using or even just something you filed down that broke years ago, they flex so bad. There's the adage, bend but don't break. There's truth in that. But when you get to the point where you feel like you're going to shatter the shaft, <laughs> you don't know where it's going to go or if it's going to go in your eyes. It's usually not something I have safety glasses on for probably always should but you know it's relatively controlled large staples it's just the getting under that's the difficult part this i don't think would have ever broke but there was a hidden staple that i didn't know was there so i put in a little extra force it's kind of a feel thing same with the pincers you know you can kind of there's a point you can grip and you can exert leverage but a little too much pressure and you're going to cut the staple instead you over time you figure it out same thing with prying on staples so the vit 3.5 i never broke it but i mean that shaft would get like <laughs> loopy looking uh and i'm pretty sure it's not straight anymore but i went to uh this because it was the next 3.5 i had that was striking cap and i was like okay cool broke it uh, i broke a vit it's somewhere i thought here on the bench i'm currently using a 4.0 i haven't broken a vera chisel driver here's the thing okay i'm gonna come in right here um this is a bad example well that's not even slotted <laughs> my apologies uh yeah so this one's been used just a little bit this one's been used more but the driver at work i want to say is the four or the 
and it's still holding up uh, it's the newest edition that I took there and it currently goes from looking I say holding up the tip is the handle not so much <laughs> and uh, it's not from the hydraulic oil that's always getting on from turning gear clamps but um, it's been beat on and the handle is actually what's concerning me on that one but what would be perfect is this okay this is a 3.5 vera chisel driver it came in that set like a five piece set this was the Ghidor, and you can see the Ghidor handle looks way beefier, right? And it is, and the ergonomics of this for prying is actually better than turning screws, in my opinion. This one takes some getting used to. It's either like a love or a hate type of a thing. And then the downside, they're expensive, so not many people are going to wind up trying it to find out if they, in fact, love it. But... Right here, I've got a Vera 3.5. Like, well, idiot, take it to work. You've had this. You, you said you broke the vit, and you want to. Here's the vit. <laughs> this was a 3. Point, this is an old Pro Top too. I'm sorry. This was a 4.0 actually, right here. And you'll note that there is not a black tip on it. Okay. <laughs> so you're thinking like, well, hey, if you haven't broke that bigger Vera, take this one. Well, look, this is not a striking cap. You're like, yeah, it is. It's black. No, no, no. Their striking caps look like this. This one's mint. I don't know if it's ever been hit. This one has been hit a lot. That's why it's rusted. <laughs> but this is not a black striking cap, okay? That is just a plastic handle. For whatever reason that I still don't understand, I was salty when this came in, this is not a striking cap. It's the chisel driver set. It's included, but it's not a striking cap. Now, this particular driver, since it's like shorter and more compact, it gets a lot of use, but it's like I pop open terminals. It works really well for that. <laughs> but that's why it's not at work. Maybe I should take it and see if I can snap it off too. Um, realistically, I guess I should just take this whole set and then uh, bring in a new one for the house if I want to at some point. But I tell you all of this because that's leading up to perhaps, at least now, you know, not, not initially, but now, my most anticipated VHA driver has been a 3.5 striking cap. They actually make one. Again, lots of them, you can get 3.5 from anyone, but finding one with a striking cap is the issue. So, <laughs> here's the deal, all right? We got these two that have, you know, not withstood the test of time, sadly. And then if I come in over here, this would be my old guard that we have in for testing. It's from 2018. Uh, again, old style handle, but you can see. In my opinion, I have always thought they did a really good striking cap because it was just big. And I've got a low battery light, dadgummit. But uh, right there, this is a number two Phillips, so that's not going to suffice for me. What is going to suffice is right here. <laughs> it is. Uh, where's your part number, Viha? You're not making this one easy on me. Oh, good lord. Uh, 53180 is what we're gonna go with. If you paid very meticulous attention to that, which I doubt anyone did, boom. And you're thinking, like, no way, you did it. This is the 10 piece extra heavy duty screwdriver set. And what's that red, red ink say there? Modular 15 and a half by 11 inch laminated foam storage tray. Love that. It's the dimensions. I can just confirm it instead of having to list them out for you. But I went with a foam one. Here's why. At work, uh, the current drivers of choice, my dailies, are going to be the old school Max Pro Plus, which is now I think Max Plus with this color scheme. Trilobes rolling that route. Why? Because I buy from KC Tool all the time and I love those drivers. They look great, they feel great. So do these, but this set has what I wanted, which is this guy right here. This one, this unassuming gem. <laughs> you have your three, two, and one Phillips, and then you've got this, the 3.5 striking cap. It's got a striking cap, unlike the Vera, where they chickened out and didn't do it. That is a striking cap. Will I break it? Probably. Uh, will I not break it? Possibly the only way we're gonna know is to use it and I cannot wait to use it You're thinking like whoa, you could have saved a ton of money and just bought that individually. Yes, we could but At work. I don't have I actually have some pretty cool 
specialty things, but uh, with standard screwdrivers, which again, obviously I use slotted. I actually do use a lot of slotted at work, ironically, <laughs> like for slotted screws, old equipment, stuff like that, uh, ground lugs, so on and so forth. But I can do that with a standard driver. These are going to be used to go places pry bars struggle to, uh, to go places where like chisels and uh, crowbars don't fit yet and then these sometimes just open it up for the crowbar if you will but that's basically what this is for and then on the rare occasion where I need like a two or three Phillips boom I don't know that the number one Phillips will ever be used striking cap wise but it'll be a nice backup as well that's kind of a three-fold setup so I've this is basically a really nice beater set in the sense that it's literally going to be used for chiseling and prying uh, and then you get bonus drivers here your three phillips ones that's why i'm not concerned there's not like more variety i'm interested in these seven largely but i also get backups so i've got striking cap drivers now for should we need them for something rusted or seized which is a selling point but also just these will back up the vit so if i snap a vit off or something or if i break one of these i've still got another slotted driver it's a win across the board so this is also cool because I've never gotten to bring in one of Viha's foam organizer. I figured I would have done it a long time ago. It just never panned out. This is a great buy. It panned out. Here it is. So selling points made in Germany. There's currently some threads on Garage Journal where people largely bash Viha. <laughs> and, uh, then, of course, people jump on the pliers. Those things are made in Vietnam. I will tell you for the price you can get them. I actually do like the handles on them. They're not that bad. I've said that for years. It's not just because of that thread. Like, I've literally said that. Go back, watch the videos from 2017 or whatever. Um, you got to keep in mind where they're from, what they are, but they're actually pretty decent, in my opinion. Um, made in Germany, though, the screwdrivers, German, still. There's nothing has changed aside from, like, the design aesthetics. Foam tray, I'm excited about that. Again, these are going to be soft finish that you know and love. So, again... You know, just like this, obviously these should, I seriously hope, have the updated handle at this point in time. Striking cap, which is massive. Will I be more likely to have the hammer slip off and hit my hand with that? We're going to find out. All right here, premium quality tool steel. You can kind of see this guy going to town on something. This is a huge thing here. I seriously, seriously love v for doing this because as a guy that... I live in the old times, uh, and I just kind of know the metric sizes, you know, I don't know the conversions on them. 3.5 is 9 64th. So if I was filming this in 1973, and I was talking about needing a striking cap for prying staples out, industrial staples, I would have been like, man, I wish they'd put a striking cap on their 9 64th. <laughs> there you go. Uh, 3 16th, which is typically the smallest driver I would have in old sets like Klein stuff, 4.5. So this doesn't have a 4, interestingly enough. I think they do make one. 13 64ths, which again, crazy size, 5.5. Quarter, very common. That's going to be your 6.5. 5 sixteenths, 8.0. 25 64ths, yeah, I know nothing of that. 10 millimeter, 15 30 seconds, 12 millimeter, and then your 1, 2, and 3 Phillips. Selling points, you've got soft finish cushion grip handle for comfort and control. The handle is direct molded to the blade for a permanent bond. It's got an exact fit precision machine tip for reduced cam out. Metal striping cap for hammer impact resistance. And again, with these being the extra heavy duty, you do have that hex bolster as well. I think on everything except the two smallest slotted, if I'm remembering correctly. So, flipping it around, I think this is about all we need to show. Uh, again, your set contents are right there, if you prefer that layout in all metric. So, links, your uh, smallest two slotted, 100 millimeter. Your 4.5 will be a 125 your five and a half will be a 125 your six back down to a hundred hmm strange 6.5 100 millimeter and eight a 150 so again 100 millimeter standard four inch shaft 125 five inch shafts 156 so on and so forth uh, and then right here your phillips the number one is an 80 
Kind of interesting that the 3.5 and the 4.0 don't mimic that, but hey, it is what it is. The number two classic 100 millimeter shaft, and then the number three Phillips gets the six inch iteration. So it is Cuttix time, and I think we just got to make what two cuts here, it looks like. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a slide out. Epic. Okay. So we might have to cut over here too, so it'll roll out cleanly. I would show you what I'm cutting, but there's just two clear tape dots. And again, this is gonna be like a sleeve, which is gonna make unboxing this an absolute breeze. If I <laughs> could get it started anyway. Maybe it's not, maybe. What am I doing wrong? Maybe not. Oh, that battery light's frustrating. Okay, so this is cool. It is a sleeve. I thought it would just be around the cardboard deal encapsulating the foam. They've actually got one of their, which I actually do like these boxes. Uh, this one's white, which is rare. It does look good with the packaging, but are you ready? This is the moments we've all waited for. Oh yeah, this is a fantastic presentation. I'm also very proud that they don't have wasted space. One of my biggest complaints with foam is when there's wasted space. I love that this is here. Oh, kind of hard. Wasn't expecting that. That should be more durable, which is good. But a lot of times, like the font, people screw that up and like space things ridiculously, and then you just have all this down space. This is not much different than you would have with your organizer of choice. Maybe you can pack them a little bit more, but the wasted space is not egregious, particularly when you think, how am I going to get this out? You're going to come in under the blade. Okay. So I'm not a hundred percent happy with the orientation here. I would like them to be ascending and descending. If you note down here in the corner, that says 4.5. This is 3.5. So that's off a little one, two, and three Phillips mint. Love that. You got the 12, the 10, the eight, the six, five, and the five, five. So really the only two off are here. I don't quite know why they did that. Um, you can't switch them either and deal with the labeling being wrong because 4.5 uh, is a little longer. Now, I don't recall it saying that was a 90 millimeter shaft. Hmm. Check this out. What is going on here? Okay, so let me just run through this. Phillips 3 is 150. This matches what we see here. The number 2 is 100. That checks off. And 1 is an 80. That's fine. 3.5, they say 100 millimeter. Well, this is 75. Okay, this actual driver 75. We can tell it's shorter than the 80. Uh, and we know it's definitely shorter than the number 2 Phillips there. So something's amiss. Uh, but I believe that this etching is correct, not the packaging. The 4.5, which again is kind of out of order for my OCD preferences, or just really that's not OCD, that's just practicality. Uh, 90 millimeter, it, as you will see here, is listed as 125. I thought that was very weird on this package, <laughs> and clearly it's 90. Um, this also talks of a 4.0. And we don't have that. Hmm. Strange. Uh, this is like a different set. <laughs> That's what I've determined here. So uh, this is correct. Okay. Like you've got the 12, the 10, the 8, and the 6, 5. So you've got 12, 10, 8, and 6, 5. If you come over here, you'll note 12, 10, not listed. 865 check and then you've got a 6.0 that does not exist here the 5.5 exists but it's a 100 millimeter not 125 and then the 4.5 is dip so basically this is what's wrong ignore that completely <laughs> it does not match with the set contents it does not match with the set links this matches with the set contents and links so uh, in essence, we could just go over this. Unfortunately, I was not privy to knowing that until we've opened up and discovered the consistency. So, what am I most excited about? This. <laughs> Alright. God, that barcode's hideous. Mm. 
not a fan of that but the new way they've done this that's just kind of the over mold and then the exposed handle instead of the white that comes off uh, right there it's very hard to read but they still maintain the made in germany and then right here you've got the year manufacturer these are from 2022 this side here always in the past used to be in line here uh, let me come in and show you conveniently with this number two let's just set this back these are pretty easy to articulate and get out so this is essentially the exact same driver and you're going to notice some differences old handle or old style new style so the white old red new everything's the same minus here where this is just like printed on this is through the mold and then right there that white font that is your size information note on this one we rotate 180 degrees and you now have that not a huge deal some people you know you might prefer it one way or the other the made in germany featured on both of these flipping this guy around and this guy around it's have the barcode and you've got that the shaft themselves dead on color seems exactly spawn on just a slight revision there is really what that is I mean case in point I could take this and swap it out right if we wanted to <laughs> so man this is cool uh, this is gonna look really good in the box um, depending on how this fits in the cart I wish I had like a big huge box at work because I might kit some stuff out with this but depending on how it fits that insulated set would be nice although I do have the five piece down there it served me quite well I had to add a number one posi sadly but uh, aside from that it's been good so set contents are what we first read off and what you see here super super nice again going by their measurements should be 15 and a half by 11 there's our 15 and a half in the corner and then about length of a piece of paper right on 11 this is a fairly like i think you can tell that's hard and then this is soft right so if i'm able to do this and there's what you would be looking at uh, so that's kind of sometimes people care maybe you want it to be a different color but you've got your two layers there and this one is the hard one no hidden VHA logo, sadly. That would have been overkill, although no one would have seen it aside from a video like this. Uh, so yeah, I am stoked. Uh, these, again, it's basically a backup set, a beater, a literal beater set of very good quality, and it gives me the 3.5. So if I break the 3.5, I've got a 4.5. I've got slots to replace them. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, this, let me just show you. In terms of what I'm doing with the staples, there is a huge, huge difference in getting this tip underneath versus this tip. It's a massive difference. Oh, the places that go so easily versus this, which is not that much bigger. Uh, but when you come in with like your standard stuff, you know, like we've got running around the shop, you know, something like this, it's just, it's not going to happen you need something smaller and that's where this 3.5 is just going to be epic 9.64 as we can now lovingly refer to it just to tick off metric land but yeah right there and i do use the snot out of the striking cap i basically especially with these bigger ones i get under and then i just hammer and let the kind of the hammer do the work if you will sometimes it pops sometimes it doesn't but yeah this is really well put together minus that confusion on the back page uh would i prefer blue handles would i prefer blue foam yeah <laughs> you know but this is what it is um yeah uh you will see these again uh we'll put them in the cart get to work and see how they hold up this will be the first one which again that that kills me if they had to make one change aside from revising that sleeve put this one down here so they're like in ascending order I don't know what the logic was there because it's large to small on this side and this doesn't mirror that with these two that's really the only egregious thing is these two drivers so uh, OCD people yes it's gonna bother you that this is flipped and VR is upside down but you gotta realize you know they have to run them that way it would be like that in any organizer and you know it you know it if they flipped these and printed them differently just for this tray 
Then when somebody pulled them out and had them standing up, they would go crazy about that. So I understand what they've done. <laughs> And, uh, I'm excited to utilize these things. So that measure up and these I will have linked. Do I make a dime if you buy them from Viha, Amazon, KC Tool, whatever? No, I do not. It's just there for your convenience. By the time that out, we had six seconds left, but there's nothing that I make. There's nothing nefarious. I still, still as of recording this, will make a dime. Uh, every person that watches this could buy a set of screwdrivers. And I get nothing. Unless VHA figures out, like, oh, they came from that dude in Texas with all the screwdrivers. Maybe they send me a hat. I don't know. That <laughs> hasn't happened. I doubt it will. But, uh, yeah, I am uh, very excited about this. I just now have to hope it fits well with everything else in the drawer. This is obviously going to fit. It's just I don't know how it's going to pair with everything else that I need to keep there. So we'll have to figure that out. That's another video for another day, though. So... Uh, this battery light's been flashing. I'm not going to chance it anymore. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a little something. If you use VR striking caps or their extra heavy duty line or their heavy duty line or their soft finish, whatever, how are they holding up? How do you like them? Uh, what are you comparing them to? Is it tool truck brands? Is it other German drivers? PB Swiss? Whatever. If you've got first hand experience, leave it. It'll help people out. This is a killer deal, in my opinion. Those other things I showed you at the start of the video, which is why I showed them at the start of the video, so you're more likely to see them, are killer deals. It's a great time to try VHA drivers if you've been on the fence or have been holding out for a good deal. That's the time to do it. I've bought multiple, multiple times direct from VHA. There's no issues. If you sign up, create an account, there's kind of an awards deal that's sort of new, like Tecton and Capri, if you're familiar with those. Um... Yeah, like I said, links down below. They'll make a dime solely there for your convenience. If you're not interested in this, or you just want to try, say, the 3.5 and 6.5 striking cap, because you use them all the time, buy them standalone. That's a big perk of VI. You can get it all standalone if you want to. I will tell you, I think these were getting hard to find, too, but this is the micro finish striking cap. Uh, I really actually do like these. <laughs> And, uh, this one hasn't been used much because, again, testing, but I've got a whole set back over there that's uh, seen some heavy use. But you can get the micro finish there or with the striking cap. Again, when I was on the site last, I had a really hard time finding many micro finish drivers. So maybe I can shoot an email off, have some answers before this video goes live. But very excited, again, especially as dumb as it seems, about the smallest driver in the set. <laughs> So, we'll see how it holds up if we break it, which we probably will eventually. You'll know about it, we'll talk about it, I'll tell you what held up the longest, uh, what didn't get a fair shake, so on and so forth. All to come in the future with the glorious working days ahead of us. But, uh, with that said, thanks so much for watching. LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. Once again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment. If you like what I'm doing here, I encourage you to subscribe. If you subscribe, ring the bell, jump your charger across the creek, get a stack of VHA's measure up drivers, and get the distance from the top of the ramp to the lowest point of the left hand exhaust pipe. YouTube just might tell you that we got new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, 9 a.m. Texas time. With that said, thanks again for watching. Most importantly, I hope I catch you back here for more action from the shop. And how this battery light is still going, I don't know, because I felt like we had to rush that. It's still flashing. <laughs> and, uh, sorry for, for burning through that, but we did what we had to. But uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you back for more action from the show.